What is going on, guys? The Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to BMG Drive. And today we have the Lincoln Town Car here, and when we're back here at the dirt track, and I told you guys that I was going to get this car shipped back to the dirt track because I had some uh, some plans for it. But let me raise this up. But before we get started on to that, uh, we got to get some work done onto it. I got to get the front brakes uh, fixed. So uh, let's head over to the shop. Um, and also, while we're there, we can take a look at the first-gen RAM update. Because um, if you have, if you guys don't know, we're building, uh, th we're building th three trucks. You know, we got three first-gen RAMs that we're going to be um, basically fixing. Or... We in the process of getting built. So, the Lincoln Town Car. Like I said, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get these brakes situated because, you know, these brakes are, they're they're bad. Like they're really bad. They're not that bad. I mean, I only have rear brakes, so it's just it wouldn't be safe <laughs> to do it. So we're gonna head over there. But. The Lincoln Town Car, despite of it being an old car. Oh, wow, that gear dropped so far. Final final drive gear went from 6,000 RPM down to 3,000. That's crazy. Oh, God, wait a minute. I forgot I don't got no brakes. Wow. I forgot I have no brakes. What is going on with you? What is going on with you? Hold on, this computer's lagging here a little bit. Wow, that gear is killer, man. Yeah, it, it cannot shift into final drive. Overdrive kills the car. Like, it's down bad. It goes... If it shifts into overdrive, it goes right down to about 2,000 RPM, which doesn't sound bad, but it's a, it's too long of a gear. They should have a shortcut to this. Look at that. Look at how far that dropped. Nah, that's not good at all. Uh, temperature is doing pretty good. Temperature is that little red meter, but we're going to be climbing this mountain little bit of a mountain we're not climbing the whole mountain we're just gonna be climbing part of it man this car has never went a hundred miles in 110 we're going 110 in a 300,000 mile car <laughs> that is crazy let's see how let's see what it does temperature is up there a little bit but it's still doing good We're slowly dying down. There we go. It's doing pretty good. That's a big heel, by the way. That's the looks of it. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Well, we're going off road, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> See if we can get out of this. Come on. There we go. Now we're back on the road. Cool. Here we go. Downhill. We're gonna we're gonna get some speed now. Come on. You guys think we could do 120? Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do 140. 140 is that's where oh my god it just pulled hard left hard left holy moly wow that was not good it just randomly pulled left wow there you go <laughs> that was crazy it needs a whole lot more now than front brakes well it needs to, it needs a whole lot but we we just gonna focus on the front brakes right now. That was weird though. It just randomly pulled left. It was like, hey, you wanna go this way? Uh-uh, no. Alright. I took the long way to the shop, so 
I don't know. I guess I see you guys there. Okay, so we're getting a little closer to the shop. I still can't get over the fact that this car can do this. Like, the age of it, the mileage on it, and it can still do that. Just, it takes a while for it to stop, though. That's the only thing. But, we're going to see if we can take a look at it and see if we can get this thing back up and going, I guess. <laughs> so we can at least drive it. But, I can give you guys an update around here. We have a lot of bills going on. So, uh, the black first gen. Let me tell you guys about this truck. So, this truck, uh, the original, uh, not the original, but the previous owner had restored this truck. He basically put all the truck back together, uh, as you guys can see. Like, it's a pretty good-looking build. I, 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 like, he did a great job putting it back together. Um, but the thing about this truck is it just doesn't have the power. It, it, it's very underpowered. It doesn't have it like it's, I guess it's like how it should just since it is a stock truck. But for what we're going to be using this truck for, it needs to have the power. Um, uh, we do have some more wheels and tires coming for this truck. So that's another thing. Um, and... So I guess you stay tuned for that, but the overall build of the truck, it's almost done. It's, you know, it's as close as it's going to get. I mean, that's the only thing that's running and driving around here. Now, the gold truck. You guys want to look at this now. So this is the golden truck. Uh, this is the truck we are building. I decided to keep, I was like, you know what, let's, let's keep this truck gold. So that's what we're going to do is that we are going to keep it gold and we're going to Try to get this truck back together. So, the differences on this truck. So, we now have a rear end. Uh, he's in the process of getting it put together. You got a rear end in here now. Uh, a leaf spring should be in. I guess he didn't put the leaf springs on yet. I don't think he's... I don't know if he's going to do leaf springs. Uh, I, I got to take a look, but I, 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 I'm pretty sure... You should have some leaf springs on there. They're around here somewhere, I guess, then. Uh, we got doors now. Uh, basically, uh, we got the doors off of the white truck. That was in the back. That was the strapper. Uh, so we took that and just slapped them on here, obviously, perfectly. Boom. Look at that. Uh, and we got the front end. We got that RCX front suspension and front steering uh the whole package deal which it kind of bolts up perfectly for this truck so it should stabilize the truck the performance all that so hopefully it looks it looks good it lo it really does that's one thing i guess that's what the appeal to me is that I, I like how it looks on the front end of these trucks uh and we got an engine for it we have a 5.9 liter 12 valve isb cummins and this one is not your typical ordinary 12 valve. Uh, this one is going to be a supercharged, the first ever 12 valve supercharged, or I should say, this is the first ever supercharged 12 valve Cummins. Um, so, and if you look, there is no turbo, all right? This engine is not turbocharged, it's supercharged. So, we got to see how that works, you know, because usually and normally everyone goes, obviously, for or with a turbo. This one's going to be a lot different. It's going to be a supercharged, uh, but the engine is built, so we have a built 12 valve and supercharged intercooler. It has all the works. It has 400 horsepower injectors in it. Uh, it has nitrous. It has 20-pound of nitrous oxide uh i think the ratio is four to one i i don't forgot it's but we got nitrous we are waiting on a transmission so once when we get a transmission we'll be able to slap that in here um 
And I guess we can go for a test drive once we find the transmission, but the transmission is in the process of getting built. So when the transmission comes in, which we got to pick up, uh, we'll put it in, you know, we bring it back, slap it in the truck, and we drive it, all right? So anyway, I'll see if I can find him around here. We're going to see if we can get this car front brakes together. Hopefully, if not, we'll, we'll see from there. But let's see. Uh, I'll pull it in there for him. <laughs> So that way we can get this thing started here. Brakes are so bad. They're so bad. Alright, let's see. Alright, so welcome back. Uh, so he got the car kind of fixed for me. Um... He took the headlight out, and he took the uh, the rest of the glass out, and he kind of straightened the body of it. He is a magician when it comes to uh, mechanic work, man. I tell you, he's he's quick, he's good, and we can finally get in this car. And, oh yeah, look at that. We can do a burnout here in the Lincoln Town car now. Ah, crap. <laughs> well, we're stuck in a tree. Um, I get the Cummins. Never fails. We're gonna just use the first gen and pull the car, I guess. Since I done screwed up. I did not mean to go into a tree, obviously, but, you know, things happen, I guess, you know? Alright, now let's pull that Lincoln out of the tree. Don't go that way. Nope. Crap. Let me pull it this way. That's good. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. Well, we got the car out of there. We messed the front end up. As long as the radiator's not damaged, then we're good. The truck back. Anyway, in case you're wondering, this guy is old school. You know, he doesn't even have the electric ramp. He has this solid ramp. So, if you want to see it on the ground, he has to roll it for it. But it's an old, old, old ramp. He's legit, though. You know, it may not look much. He doesn't look like it's much, but you know it's stuff. He don't need a lot of it fancy stuff. Yep, the radiator's leaking. That's great. On the road in the Lincoln Town car. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Transmission is the only sketchy part of the car. Um, but we, we, we're going to test this car out. And we're going to see just how reliable this car is, you know. These cars last for a while, you know. They're very, they're very, very reliable, to the point. Uh, so let's let's find out how much abuse can this car take. Let's find that out. Oh, you just you're comfortable, town to town, Lincoln town car. Get it? Oh, brother, this guy stinks. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, I seen a dirt road. That did not go as planned. I wanted to do a J-turn. But, yep, that did not happen. It, was, it, was, it went a lot smoother in my head, but not in real life. I see a dirt road here that I wanted to take. We know what it can do on the road. What can it do off-road? A little bit of jump. Look, oh my lord. <laughs> oh 
Okay. All right. It did good, though. I mean, for a car, that was perfect. Transmission is the only thing, though. It's sketchy. But let's see if I can keep up with what I wanted to do. A little drift going on here. A little drift action. Ooh, look at that. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. There's a tree on the road. Alright. I have never been down this road before, so... Hopefully nothing surprising jumps out at me, because that would not be good. Alright. So far, so good, though. I think this is a curve. Can I drift it? Oh, transmission. Transmission freaked out. It didn't know what to do. It did not know what gear it wanted to be in. I'm going to see if I can drift it again. As soon as I get me an opportunity, which I believe this might be it. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jeez. I'm about to fly off the road. That's death down there, though. If you... Little water, water crossing. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. I like it, though. Temperature is... It's hot. But it's not to the point to where it's overheating. I can drift this. Oh, look at this. Surprisingly, though, for the, this type of car to even be doing this, that's impressive in itself. This car is huge. These cars are, if you guys want to know what a, a, a boat is, this car was, or one of the cars that was a definition of a boat. All right? Okay. And it can drift. What? On dirt. On road, not really. But, oh my god, hold on, wait a minute. Okay. Alright. <laughs> not good. Full sanded, I guess. We just lost the whole front grill. Ooh, look at this. An old mining site. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Never seen that before. Alright, let's see. I want to do some, like, rally stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. Give me a drift. In a ditch. Alright. It's doing great. All right, so the Lincoln Town car is a great car off-road. It is great. It's perfect. It can drift. You know, if you wanted to rally cross this car, you probably could. Just a little bit of weight reduction. Um, it's perfect, though, man. It's so... Honestly, if I was just to replace the transmission, this car would be literally, um, uh, like, an animal. It really would. Oh, God! Okay, we rolled it. <laughs> we rolled it. And we hit a tree. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so welcome to the dirt track. This is where we're going to be doing our hardcore testing. Uh, we're going to be testing out the durability of the Lincoln Town car. We've seen what it can do off-road, but let's find out what it can do in a, uh, in like a hardcore scenario. So... We got a little bit of jumps around here um, and stuff like that, so let's just test it out. I want to try the little jumps, and then we'll work our we will graduate ourselves to the big big jumps. That's a big jump. We I don't want to do that one yet. You know what? Let's see if we can get a little full scene going on here in reverse. Test that reverse out. Oh my goodness! That was a lot of air in reverse. That's impressive. Okay. No, hardly no damage back there. Four gear. We didn't even get that much in, in, in drive, man. All right. We got to get at least a good 50 miles an hour. Look at that. Perfect landing. Yes. Oh, man. Crazy. And it's still a tag. Still a tag running and driving. I am more impressive that 
The dry shaft is not broke or bent, nothing. It's <laughs> perfect. Radiator's leaking, but that's to be expected. It's literally on the front of the car, so it's going to be the first thing to hit that will get damaged. All right. Let's see what we can do. A, let's let's do a hot a, a hot lap. We ain't gonna be able to do it. It's overheating now. Oh my god, that's a wall. Into a wall. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's see if we can bag out of this. I did not mean to go to the wall. I forgot that that wall was there. All right, let's see if we can get another jump in here. Oh, uh, transmission is not happy anymore. It's slipping. Transmission slipping. Maybe. Yeah, that transmission is not happy with us. It don't like us. Come on. Oil is not good. We just lost power. We lost power. We lost power to a car that was already underpowered. <laughs> yep. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it still runs. <laughs> it still runs. How? What? Who? What the deuce? What the deuce do you think you're doing? The front uh, right tire is stuck right. So we cannot no longer turn with except for the left wheel. There goes the rod bearings. All right. All right. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. You need your speed, baby. You need that speed. You need the speed. Let's go. Oh, we're not enough. Wow. <laughs> the only thing that got damaged on that was the oil pan. Engine oils. Critical low. Yep, I will say so. Well, <clears throat> before we lose our oil. Wheels locked up. Come on, bag it up, Terry. Bag it up. We gotta get at least 50 miles an hour on this jump here. This is like, this is the biggest jump. This is the biggest, one of the biggest jumps we have here at the dirt track. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We need 50 at least. We need 50 at least. 50 is our minimum. Well, dry shaft is broken. Well, let's just blow it up. <laughs> just blow it up. Blow it up the town car. That's all we're going to do. That engine's strong, man. 300,000 miles, and it's bouncing off the rev limiter with no oil in it. And this is, it still runs. It's, it still runs. Ow. I don't understand. There it is. There's the rod bearings. Oh my God. It just blew a whole bunch of smoke in my face. <laughs> yep. There it is. Grandma's Lincoln Town car is, this is the final send off. Farewell. It's still going. That is a strong freaking engine, man. There's the smoke out the tailpipes. Engine engine is starting to underpower itself. Reducing power. Smoking out the tailpipes. It blew a hit gasket. It has no oil in it, by the way. No oil in it. It's no coolant. No coolant, no oil. And this is the car still running. It's going to lock up, though, pretty soon. You can hear it bogging down. Bogging down. Bogging down. 
it's gonna lock up pretty soon. Pretty soon. Any minute now. Any minute now. Any moment. We gonna see it any moment. Losing a lot more power now. Oh my lord. How? How is he still running? Come on. Hurry up. Wow. It is a trooper. It is a trooper. There it is. Go to sleep. There you go. Wow. Lincoln Town Car, ladies and gentlemen. We lit we just blew it up. We just blew well, I guess you I guess you could still consider that blowing it up. But there it is, R.I.P. Lincoln Town Car. I got one more thing. I'll be back. Anyway, <laughs> there it is. There it is. Um, Lincoln. Here's the underside of it. It was still in pretty good, could pretty good condition. Frames bent now, so that's done. But Lincoln Town Car. There's my monster. My, there's my tire rolling away on me. Yep. But anyway. There is the site, the Lincoln Town Car, RIP. Anyway, guys, I uh, was just messing around here today, and I just wanted to show you guys the durability of the Lincoln Town Car, and it has to be one of the strongest cars than most cars that's built today. <laughs> that's for sure. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.